Hello guys, um, this is Ryan here. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox 360 to Xbox Live through your smartphone. So, for this tutorial, you of course need a smartphone. You'll need Windows 7 or Windows Vista software uh, because, th because that op those operating systems come with special uh, networking software to allow you to do this. Um, you need Easy Tether Pro to tether the internet connection from your smartphone to your PC. Um, you'll need a desktop or laptop with Ethernet port, and you'll need the Ethernet cable to connect from your PC to your Xbox 360. And of course, you need an Xbox 360. Um, I know it's pretty obvious. Uh, I, I just wanted to write this all down just to get a bigger picture. Um, and this method, you won't be needing a wireless adapter, so that this will save you a few bucks on not buying something from Microsoft that you really don't need. Um, but just a warning: um, Easy Tether Pro it will cost you ten dollars, but it's worth it if you're going to be using it a lot. Um, there's no cost for tethering. Um, on T-Mobile, actually uh, on a any network, I don't think there's any cost. Um, I don't know about Verizon though, but but yeah, it's only ten dollars. There are um, there are free ways to get it, but I'm not gonna go into that because I don't want to endorse uh, stealing software or anything like that. But yeah, um, all right, let's get started. Um, I I'm gonna assume that you have Easy Tether Pro installed. Um, if you don't, uh, you can watch another video to install it on your computer. Um, it, if uh, if you'd rather see me make a tutorial on how to install Easy Tether Pro, I could do that. But right now, I'm going to assume that you have it installed. So, all right, here here we go. Um, all right, you have Easy Tether installed, and you have your your smartphone connected to your computer through a USB connection. So right now we can get internet. So if you say you open Firefox, um, say google.com, you'll get internet. And the reason why you need Easy Tether Pro is because you could access uh, secured websites with HTTPS. And you could also um, use, uh, I forgot the acronym, but you could use the net the network where you could play Xbox games, so that's why you need the Pro. Um, Alright, so y you have your phone connected to the network, it's going to be called Network 4, and it should have internet access. Next thing you want to do is connect the Ethernet cable from your PC to your Xbox, so you can do that right now. Um, Right, now you want to go to control panel, open network and internet, open network and sharing center. Now you'll want to go to change adapter settings. So here's your easy tether network adapter that you installed with the software. And you'll want to right click this, go to properties, the sharing tab. And then I already have these checked, but check these. This will basically allow the connection, the internet connection through your smartphone to your PC, have that internet connection share to your Xbox. So this basically connects it for you. Uh, this is a feature of Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Um, I believe there are ways to do it in XP, but um, I'm not going to go into that. All right, so make sure you have both these checked. If you go into settings have this checked. Should already be checked. See how it connected. Alright. And then it's right now it says network cable unplugged. But if I turn on my Xbox it, w it won't say that. It'll say plugged. But um next part of this tutorial is I'm gonna turn on my Xbox and you have to enter in specific numbers uh, to configure um, everything about the network. So I'll, I'll tell you the specific numbers um, in the second part of this. So I'll see you then.
Hey guys, there's actually uh, one more thing that you need to do uh, before you go to your Xbox and configure it. You want to click on this um, this network, which is an Ethernet cable to your Xbox. You want to right click it, go to properties, click on Internet Protocol version 4, click properties, and you want to make sure the IP address and the subnet mask match this right here. Um, I can have them in the description too. So before you do anything, uh, make sure this matches. All right. Um, now I'm gonna show you how it's supposed to look on the Xbox. All right, guys. I'm over at my Xbox. Right now, um, I connected it to the Ethernet. Uh, what you want to do is go to the dashboard, go to settings, go to system, network settings. Wired network, configured network, make sure this matches everything. If it doesn't match, you'll want to go into these, go manual, and enter all this information manually. So, yeah, that's how it works. And it said disconnected, but uh, just a warning that you will get disconnected several times. It's not the best connection, but hey, you're, it's. It's tethering. So, yeah, that's it for the video, and good luck.